What's up, guys? Welcome to episode six of The Road to 300. As of this recording, I'm officially 12 weeks into my post-op journey. I'm 138 pounds down, which on my body translates to about four shirt sizes and five pants sizes. Um, I can tell you that I feel great. Uh, recently, uh, along my journey, uh, the main thing that I want to touch on is there was a minute there between the end of December and like the earlier part of January where my weight had kind of uh, frozen or I wasn't going down like I was before and like I know eventually my weight will slow down as far as like how quickly it drops and uh, eventually that's a good thing to help you manage the skin and all that stuff but because it happened so early I immediately went into panic mode and self-doubt um, because I have failed so many diets before and having this relationship where I get to talk to you guys every week um, made me feel guilty because I knew I wasn't eating a lot. I was walking. I was playing. I had just introduced basketball into like my daily routines. And so I wasn't, I didn't understand why my weight wasn't falling. And um, I, the whole reason I started doing these videos was to be accountable and to be honest. And I knew people would have a hard time believing that I was doing the right thing and that I wasn't overeating, but I was not losing weight. And so um, after a lot of like self doubt and like a lot of like, what am I doing wrong? I finally uh, deep dived on some different forums and I, actually it was, once I saw what was going on, I was like, oh yeah, no shit. Uh, what had happened was during my trip to Washington and back, I would gotten into a bad routine of drinking as much water I was supposed as I was supposed to. And then in the early on stages, my stomach was so sensitive that I would get sick so easy. So I wasn't eating as much as I was supposed to. And the ironic thing about not eating enough is your body goes into starvation mode. And so it clings on to your fat and actually starts burning muscle. And so you're not losing weight or not losing it as fast as I was obviously previously. And once I had that aha moment of like, oh, there, that's why, that's what's going on. Started getting my water in, started, um, yeah, just focusing on water, and it's miraculous. My weight has started dropping rapidly again. Uh, I dropped seven pounds in one day and an additional two the next, which again, like, I know that's a big gap, but still, I'll take it. And so, another thing that I kind of wanted to touch on in this video is a lot of people in my life, both uh, friends and family, have been reaching out in regards to their curiosity about the surgery and as I've touched on in previous videos I don't think surgery is for everybody but it definitely was for me and I would like to kind of not only address the people who are curious about the surgery but also address those who I know people have have good intentions when they give advice on the surgery because they know somebody or have heard of somebody who's had the surgery, but as somebody who actually has had the surgery, pre-op, I heard a lot of doubts. I always heard a lot of doubts and that's what kept me from getting the surgery for so long was, oh, my friend's brother, my friend's cousin, my cousin's cousin. Like there was always some second or third party down the line that had had the surgery and had this horrible horror story and they didn't lose weight. and. I use, I'm going into this story and I'm going to use the example of why my weight had stopped dropping as fast. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to and it had a direct result. I stopped losing weight. So to those who think that they're an expert on the surgery without actually having the surgery, let me actually tell you from my mouth as somebody who has had the surgery, this should be a no brainer. If you don't do what you're supposed to, you won't get results. And obviously like I had my stupid moment of not drinking enough water. Didn't realize that that would completely freeze my weight from dropping. Thought if anything, I would have other effects that would be like, ah, I need to drink more water. But nonetheless, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to. And that's why my weight had slowed. So at some point you have to look your friend in the face. Sometimes you have to look your, your family member in the face who are telling you these horror stories and you have to ask them point blank, well, were they doing what they're supposed to? And if they can look you in the eye with a straight face and say they were, more power to them. But I can guarantee you that those people weren't doing what they were supposed to. So 
Again, is the surgery for everybody? Absolutely not. But if you are sitting at home watching this and you're contemplating getting the surgery, I mean, what's it gonna hurt? The least you could do is go talk to a doctor about it. I mean, gastric bypass, I mean, there's lots of options. My opinion is biased. Gastric bypass has been around the longest. It's the most time proven. And if you really want it, it's reversible, unlike the sleeve. But getting the sur getting or making the decision to get the surgery for me, a lot like, I always deemed it as selfish and I was always worried about what people would think if I got it because I th assumed people would write me off as like, oh, he was too lazy to go get it on his own, his own. But one thing you have to remind yourself is like, you're not doing it for others. At the end of the day, you're doing it for you. And what would you rather do? Make the decision to get healthy and make a permanent decision, well, as permanent as you want it, but a permanent decision to get healthy and stick around for longer or have those options taken out of your hand because it's hard for you to, or at least it was for me. It was hard for me to be accountable. Obviously I was almost 500 pounds. So I literally needed the surgery to make my stomach to the point where if I eat one bite too much, if I eat one bite of the wrong thing, I get sick. I physically feel it like it physically hurts, but I need that. And I know not everybody does, but if you like, if you're watching this, and you're contemplating that surgery because your weight has gotten to where you don't want it, chances are you struggle with that feeling too. And I don't mean to put, I'm not trying to put anybody down or call anybody out. Again, surgery is not for everybody and there are other options. Personal trainers can be hugely beneficial. Uh, I lost my most weight when I had a personal trainer and I was going to natural path uh, before the surgery. But if you've tried other things or you're at a point in your life where maybe you're younger or older, it doesn't really matter. Don't be afraid to make that decision now, as opposed to letting your weight get more out of hand, letting your health get more out of hand. And then that decision is taken away from you. Not in the sense of like, you can't just get the surgery, but like maybe you're forced to get it. Maybe you're forced to get some other kind of surgery because the ticker isn't ticking or because you're having liver issues. That was one for me. My liver was in a worse state or worse condition than, sorry dad, than my father's who was an alcoholic for most of his life. My liver was in worse shape from not exercising, from soda, which is a big one. Again, drink up, that's killing you, and fast food. All three of those things were making it to the point where I, and granted, I had this meeting years ago and didn't change it till recently. My liver at the age of like 16 and 17 was in worse shape than my dad's who was an alcoholic again for most of mine and his life. So that's just a point of perspective. And once your liver goes, your kidneys go. And once those go, you get cancer, at least how it was put to me. I'm not a doctor, talk to your doctor. At least how it was put to me, you can get sprain, or sprain, Jesus. Spine and brain cancer very easily, among other things. And to me, none of those seemed worth it, but I didn't, I really didn't change until obviously I saw, I, I was seven pounds away from 500. I was like, oh shit, I gotta do something. And I was laying next to my fiance and I was like, oh, I definitely wanna stick around for her. And again, it's not about her, even though it is, anyway. It's not about others, it's about you. It's about sticking around. It's about a better quality of life. And if that's what you want, go talk to a doctor. Seriously, just go talk to a doctor. And if you go to the doctor and you feel like the surgery still isn't for you, then that's fine. But for those of you, again, who are being talked out of it by somebody who knows somebody who had the surgery, no, fuck that. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be vulgar nor aggressive. Ask somebody who's had the surgery, again, 138 pounds down in 12 weeks. You make the decision. See you guys next week. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified if you want. Or if not, Tuesdays at noon, that's the new time. Hashtag Road to 300.